Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about governor powers and the friction along with states. Recently, the West Bengal CM blocked the governor on Twitter. And the Tamil Nadu government even had taken exception of governor's speech on Republic Day. If you see the governor, he is said to be the parallel to president. That is how we have for the nation as president, the same way for the state we have governor. And he is also said to be the nominal head. That is, whenever the chief minister is not present and whenever the ministers resign suddenly and there is nobody to control the state, then the governor plays an important role. And the similar offices, governor exists everywhere in the UTs, that is, as lieutenant governor, as our administrator. He is said to be the minister of central government, not the state government. So, when the state has some party which is opposite to the party of the center, then the governor and the state do not get along with each other. The governor tries to take the power and try to control the state. This is what is happening. If you say, Article 153 says that there should be a governor for each state. And appointment of power powers are also derived from Part 6. And Article 174 of the Constitution says that the governor has the right to summon the House. And there are also many articles which say that the, the governor has the right to summon the house and dismiss the house and even uh, passing of the bill he has the right passing or holding the bill so he the same rules goes for even president so the governor if we say why it is always in the friction as i said the governor he is the member of the central government that is, is appointed by the central government not by the state government so actually he should be unbiased in spite of being different parties he should be unbiased but the power of the government the power of the governor he is taking it sometimes in a different way and he is misguiding and he is taking in a different manner. Now, he is said to be the, he should be a mem member of uh, who can be interaction between the members for each ministers. And he should be between interaction between the state and central government. And he should be a member so who can act on aid and advice of ministers that means he cannot take anything any decisions on his own he has to take the advice of the ministers council of ministers he enjoys only certain powers granted under the constitution but when it comes to acting for the state he has to take the advice of the president if they have to be a president rule and the Council of Ministers when it comes to the political matter. He has a monopoly for giving assent for the bills for the state legislature. And whenever the party to prove any majority. So these are the main things which the governor has to do. Now where the various friction points are, as I said, Selection of the party to form a government. That is, when the party is from the state government party is from a different party, let us say it is Congress, and the governor is from BJP. In spite of being in a position where he has, uh, where he does not get any favor from any party, but still he prefers his previous party. That's why there is a friction and deadline of proving majority. So when there is a major, when there is a tie, and they have to prove the majority, then the friction point comes, and settling also on bills, 
and passing a negative remarks on state administration whereas his role is mainly for to interact between state government and central government he only gives negative remarks on the state administration now the reason if we see many times not only this in jammu kashmir in november 2019 the jammu kashmir and governor dissolved the assembly indicating that various party were coming together to form the party even in 2019 in maharashtra after a hung verdict in maharashtra the governor invited a party leader and he took him as he made him as a cm so and in nagaland also the governor has criticized affairs of the state and interfered in administration this is not the first time there are many times where if you see even in karnataka the governor has played a major role where he always takes sides of the central government so the allegation of the center is using the governor's position to stabilize destabilize the state governments power and in 1959 kerala government was dismissed based on a report by the governor several state governments have been dismissed since then including 63 through president rule orders and issued by governors between 1979 and 1990 so the main reason is that now why it is happening various reasons are political appointment that is because the governor has become a political appointee now the instead of becoming umpires they are playing they are like a they are like a king in the chess board who is moving according to the queen and nature of appointment in constitution there is no guidelines for exercising the governor's power including the appointment of cm or dissolving the assembly the constitution assembly envision governor to be a, a political but we are not getting any we are not seeing anything like that and whenever there is a constitution morality and values and whenever there is a fundamental defect in the constitution we can see the governor is utilizing it there is no provision for impeaching the governor and who is appointed by the by the center's advice and the governor has five year tenure and he can remain in office until the pleasure of the president and there is no limit for how long a governor can withhold an bill so these are the major frictions of the governor and the state there are few cases where the governor was held was alleged for misusing the powers that is in sr bombay case versus union of india 1994 this case was about the powers of the governor to dismiss the state government under article 356 the supreme court ruled that the floor test should be the only way to determine the majority of the government and not the subjective opinion of the governor and in ram prasad case 2006 this was on the validity of the president rule and the dissolution of the bihar assembly in 2005 the supreme court ruled that the governor cannot take decisions on the basis of subjective assessment so the way forward is that there was a commission called, called a sarkaria commission of 1998 which held various panels and made a reform and recommended reforms on appointment of governors and the selection of governors should be through a panel comprising the pm home minister lok sabha speaker and the cm and fixing the tenure for 5 years and they also said that there should be a provision to impeach the governor and no government has implemented till now and they also recommended some uh, that the governor should not be from the same state that is if the governor belongs to the ap should not be again sent to the ap so these are the few reforms and few things discussed so that's all for today friends if you like it please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you